Yo, my people, them CFC, Riz Blue, back with another video. And it's the player ratings for yesterday's match between Chelsea and Man City, which we lost 2 0. Thank you to everyone for your support. If you haven't checked out my match review, please check it out. The link will be up there as we speak. And please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. Now, I'm going to get into Player ratings, a man's going to start off with Robert Sanchez, of course. And boy, oh boy, man thought that this guy didn't give man heart attacks last season. He definitely will this season. And yesterday, he did make some good saves. A couple of them from Haaland, one from Doku. But he was at fault for giving the ball away. And making us concede our second goal. Because if you don't pass it when Abakai Sedo or Gusto doesn't want it, then that is already bad communication. And you are not putting our players in the best position. You're causing us problems to concede goals. And that's what you are doing. And this thing like this is the reason why I know that our highest ceiling is fourth place. Because with a keeper... Like Sanchez, I'm not even 100% how good Jorgensen is, but we can't compete for the top three, in my opinion. Fourth, between fourth and sixth is where I'm going. But yeah, man, it wasn't a good performance overall from Robert Sanchez. I'm just going to give him um a 4.5 because damn, man, damn. Their mistakes there cost us. And goals win you games and goals lose you games. When you are a keeper, you do all of this. Yeah, man, it's not good. So 4.5 for Robert Sanchez. Now, we're going to move on to our right back, Malo Gusto. And Malo, have you of all of our defenders? I think that you was the poorest one. Your passes were not good enough. A couple of times, if you made the right pass, we would have been in having two on one opportunities in the box. It weren't good enough. You did win the ball back a couple of times, but overall, whether it was Savino or Doku, they were on you. No, did you? I'd be wrong. You couldn't do too much. You didn't have a good performance. And last season, comparing it, like you was having Doku in your pocket majority of the time. And even though you didn't have necessarily have a great performance or a good performance, you will improve, and hopefully we see the best of you soon enough. But my rating for you, yeah, man, I'm going to give you a 4.5 because you should have done better. But, yep, now I'm going to move on to the centre-backs. I'm going to start off with Wesley Fofana. And considering that this is Fofana's first Premier League match in more than 16 months, dealing with Haaland, Sure, you might have made the mistakes, but I think you had a decent performance. I thought that um we would have been able to concede a lot more chances for we might concede more goals. But we're going to be honest. If it's not down, if it's not thanks to Sanchez giving away the ball in that last in our last ten minutes, we lose the game one nil. And if you were to tell me that if we went into this game and we lost it only one nil, I would take it. Personally speaking, because I was scared of our defence, my score prediction was 2-2. If man's going to be honest, I didn't know what the score was going to be. I'm just there hoping for the best. And that was the best result I feel like we could have got. But our defence, it done well, in my opinion. Could have done better? Sure. But this is a new system. Levi Cole and Wesley Fofana haven't played together a lot. As the season goes on, I feel like this will be a good partnership. And Fofana did have some good moments, just not most of the game wasn't that good. So on that, I'm going to give him a five because I don't feel like he did too bad. It's just an average performance. And considering it was his first game back in 16 months, I feel like he done better than what I would have expected. So yeah, man, I'm going to give him a five. Then we have Levi Cowell. And Cowell, pretty much of the same might be real to you. It's not necessarily a great performance. Not necessarily a great performance. <sighs> he was sloppy for the first goal. 
Abbey Road. You don't necessarily have a good performance like that. I don't really know too much to say other than you need to get better. You need to be more lively, be more aware of your surroundings. My rating for you is a 4.5. And then we have our left back, Mark Kukurel. And to be honest with you, he definitely was top three players for me in the match for us. Easily the best defender. He brought his Euro 2024 form into this game. If it was Savino, even though he did cook him a couple times, or Doku, I feel like he'd done much better than Doku. Hence why Doku had to switch to the left-hand side to find some joy. He weren't getting much on the, on the right-hand side. And that's because of Kukureo. He won a lot of his draws. He won, like, I wrote you, he was fouled a couple of times. He got forward a lot. Sure, he could have done necessarily better with um, defending in the second half, but I feel like he had a good match. I was one of our best performers. And I really hope that you're not injured or anything due to that. Um, due to that, what's that? Oh, cool. The, um, uh, you guys know what I'm trying to say. He went down with a cramp in the game. That's it, with a cramp. And yeah, I hope that you're okay you'll be able to play next weekend but on that note i'm going to give you a six had a good performance big you up now we move on to the midfield i'm going to start off with romeo lavio who i truly believe and most people will believe that he was the best player in the game in the first half no passes went astray he makes most of his passes when it comes to receiving the ball and turning out and finding people he can do that. He is an absolute baller and he can protect our defensive line. To have someone like him who is a CDM, it's brazy. It's brazy. Like, I truly believe that with his physique, his physicality, as the games go on, he's only going to get better. Bearing in mind, we signed him 12 months ago. He made his Premier League debut and it's a very good debut for us. Things are only going to get better because with, play with players like um, Romeo Lavio, it's going to be a good season in my opinion, better than last season anyway. But on that note, I'm going to give him an eight. He is the man of the match for me. Big you up, Romeo Lavio. Big you up. And now we're going to get on to the talking points. And Enzo Fernandez, man. Enzo, oh, you was the captain. You was the captain. And I'll be honest, man, could have done a lot better. You are one of my favourite players in the team, but I really hope that you can do better. You get yourself into a lot of dangerous positions, and that's why it's very frustrating because you're one touch away. You are a shot away, a pass away, just one thing away, and that's where it's frustrating because you can get yourself into so many good positions, but you just can't execute enough. You can't do the final thing. But I truly believe that you will improve. Last season, for nine months, you had a hernia injury. He went to Copa America, won the Copa America with Argentina starting practically every single game. You need time to rest. You're still young. And I truly believe that as the season goes on, you will get better. That is my opinion. But for that match against City, yeah, man, you're going to get a four, man. Eight. Eight. But yeah, I'm going to give you a four. And then you have Moises Caicedo. He was better, but still needs to improve. I can't cap. Man, that man needs to be a lot more stronger. He needs to eat more, get on a better diet. We need to be stronger physicality-wise. But, yeah, man. Moise Caicedo, you could have had a better game. But just like Enzo, he played practically all of our season. Went to Copa America, played all of the games for your country. Now you're coming back. I feel like they just need time to adjust. That's just my opinion. But on that, I'm going to give Moises Caicedo a five because he did play better than Enzo. And now I'm going to move on to our left winger, Christopher Nkunku, who for me was our best attacker. I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him a 5.5. Yeah, I'll give him a 5.5. Truth be told, he didn't, we didn't get, we didn't have too many chances in terms of, um, we didn't create so many chances, but any chance that we did create, I find it um, 
what I, from what I saw, Christopher and Kunku was involved in a lot of it. Whether it was the good play between him, Cole Palmer, Nicholas Jackson, Enzo Fernandez, or if it was him nearly winning a penalty, or if it was him driving through, passing it, and trying to set up um, a chance for one of our other players. He was involved in a lot, and he doesn't misplace passes. All of his passes will go towards someone. He'll be someone that will get in, get stuck in, wins, tackles, gets into the thick of things. I didn't necessarily see someone with his hunger, with his fight, in terms of trying to win the ball back, given, not giving these men a kanji or any of these men time on the ball. You will be hunting them man down to cause a mistake, to allow us to get on the attack to potentially score a goal. I love that energy. I love that mentality. And that's why I'm going to give him a 5.5. You are due to see him better from Christopher and Kunku as the season goes on. And I just can't wait for it. So big you up for your performance, my bro. And now... It's time for Cold Palmer. And boy, he couldn't do much against Manchester City. I'm just going to be 100% honest with you. Last season, no one thought Cold Palmer would do what he's done. But this season, everyone's going to be on him. No diddy. On, like, if you deepen the game, he has at least three men around him majority of the time. He can't do much unless he comes forward. If not comes forward, but comes close to the halfway line when we have possession and tries to ping the ball to the left hand side. But dribbling wise, he ain't do. He wasn't doing much compared to what we saw last season. CE were making sure that they don't allow him any time or space, and that's down to them knowing how to defend, know how to defend in the system against Enzo Moresco. I'll be real. It's just it's Pete, man. I must be honest, it's Pete. My rating from Cole Palmer, I'm going to give him a 4.5 because I actually don't think he had a good game, personally speaking. But that's just my opinion. It doesn't mean he didn't have any kind of good moments. But yeah, 4.5, man. And then we have our striker, Nicholas Jackson. And man, offside goal, offside a couple of times again. And Kunku's. Going through, we don't pass the ball to him like that on a quick thing. Like for me, this is the reason why we're trying to look for someone and get Victor Osman because we can't rely upon um, Nicholas Jackson throughout the whole entire season. And if we do, it could be long because unless you improve throughout the rest of the season, it's going to be long, man. Your decision making needs to be better, finishing needs to be better. A lot of things need to be better. And in the system, we're not going to be playing the same way we played against under Pochettino. So you might not have that much freedom. You might not have, might be able to have that many chances, which is why you need to be clinical. And that's why we're trying to get another striker because we don't know if we can rely upon um, Nicholas Dress for the whole season. I want to believe in you. I do believe in you. But you need to do better, especially in these games. Little moments change everything. Passing the ball to Nkunku, once you got it, you had the time, but you wanted to take it to the right-hand side. Wrong move. Like, you need to do better. And I hope that you do. Conference League, it needs to start in that. I need to build up your confidence and score goals. But, yeah, my rating for you, I'm going to give you a four, man. But that is the um, that is our starting 11. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Now it's time for... The subs and our first sub of the day was Pedro Neto, who did come on for Christopher and Kunku. He did have um a good opportunity, and once he came on, it was good defending by Rico Lewis to deny a tap in for Pedro Neto. But he had um some good decent one on ones. But in the second half, C had a lot of more possession, controlled the game a lot more, and I don't feel like he had. He got involved in the game a lot like that. So, on that note, I'm going to give Pedro Neto a five. And then we have Kiernan Shrewsby Hall. I don't feel like a lot happened when you came on. So, I'm just going to give you also a five. Other substitutes were Renato Vega, 
hey man i'm gonna give you a five as well you came on for the last 10 minutes not really too much you can do you did concede a goal but it's not even down to you so i'm gonna give you a five and mark Gu, i'm also gonna give you a five i don't feel like any of the subs really did too much pedro now did have a couple good moments but i don't feel like our attack done much and in the second half see would just all over us majority of the time so yeah man that's my player ratings it's gonna be time for the manager's rating now Enzo Maresco I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna give you a six because you did set up with a good lineup my predicted excite you did make good substitutions like for like I'm just disappointed not to see Noni Madweki but that probably means he's going to play 90 minutes in the Conference League on Thursday. No, um, yeah, no. Not only Madweki is really the only one. Not anyone else. Mudrik, it would have been come see him, but Pedro Neto, that's calm. These guys are going to be going to be eventually playing in the Conference League this week because it'll be a rotated squad. So maybe saving guys to allow them to have a lot more time in the Conference League because guys like Nkunku, Cole Palmer shouldn't be playing in the Conference League or starting anywhere, especially against Savat. So, yeah, man, my rating for Enzo Oresco is a six. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Do you agree with my player ratings? And if you've gotten this far, I appreciate it. Let me know down below your thoughts and opinions. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC with this blue. And I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.